Hi guys, welcome to Bite Size Excel. In this video, we are going to introduce the concept of absolute and relative cell references. So this is an important concept to understand when you're starting to use formulas and functions within Excel. So by default, when you input a cell reference in Excel, it goes in as a relative cell reference. So if we make this cell B11 equal to B6, so we're down five cells. By being a relative cell reference, what that means is if I move it over, it will still go back. So if I move it over three rows, the formula it refers to will be moved over three rows from the original. Equally, if I move it down to and over three, then it will be referring a cell down to and over three from the original. So that's a relative cell reference. Now, quite often in Excel, this is not what we actually want. We want to refer to a cell and we want it to stay in that cell. So for example, say I always want to refer to this 30. So equals this cell B3. Now at the moment, that's a relative cell reference because that's how it automatically goes in in Excel. To make it absolute, what we need to do is we need to put these dollar signs in front of the column reference and in front of the row reference. Now what this does is it locks it to the column B by putting the dollar sign in front of the B and it locks it to the row three by putting a dollar sign in front of the three. This means that no matter where I copy this to on my spreadsheet, it will always refer back to that original cell. So I've made that an absolute cell reference now. And you can mix these up. So you can just lock it to either a column or a row. So in this instance, if I take out the dollar sign in front of the three, it's still locked to the column because the dollar sign is still in front of the B. So it means the column will always stay the same. So if I move this over, it will still be referring back to the column. So it doesn't matter how many columns I move, it will still refer back to column B. However, if I move it down four rows, the cell reference will be referring to a row four rows below the original. And this works for locking it to your row as well. So if we do this, it won't matter how many rows I move it down, it will still refer back to the original row. If I move it across, then it will be referring to a different column because in this, we have not locked it to the column anymore. Now this also works in any sort of formulas. So it's not just relating to a single cell, it can be the same with an array. So for example, in, let's take out these formulas. So in this instance, we want to put a formula in. We want it to be the sum of the two numbers above. And this is a relative reference, which you want to keep it as a rel relative reference because we want to copy it across and have it adding up the ones above in each instance. So if we copy that over, it will be adding up the correct cells above. However, if we then were to copy this down, it's moved the cells that are being referred to down the equivalent number. If we want that not to happen, we would need to lock it to our row. So if we put a dollar sign and then copy it across. Now, if we copy it down, we will still get the same result. Now, using a mixture of our relative and absolute cell references to get the average per day, we put in equals our total divided by the number of days. Now, we want our total to copy across, so we want the column to stay relative. We'll lock our row, but we want our cell with the number of days to always be the same, so we want to change that to an absolute reference. Now, if we copy this across, what you will find is it still takes the cell above, but remains with the absolute cell reference that's referring back to this number of days cell. A 
understanding relative and absolute cell references is quite important when you start working with bigger spreadsheets and using more complicated formulas so that you make sure that you are always going to be referring back to the correct row, column or cell. If you've got any questions on this topic, please do let me know in a comment. I hope you have found this video useful and I look forward to seeing you on a future video.